going to use the filbert brush now to create some little rocks and stuff in there just with a filbert there just want to get a few more in that's all blocking some of these areas a bit more so they're not quite as open yeah, loads of it all the way through the odd bigger one in so there's a couple of rocks here and there they'll be down in here be nice to do one it's about that big and what I'll do is I'll just paint below it there go down and that's got little reflection then and if you use your knife use a clean part of your knife you can just allow it to pick up some of that liquid white off of there and what you do is you just allow it to run right through there right so that's all you need to do for that it's almost as though it's just got a bit deeper there I think you maybe you do you get it a lot on the coast. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna actually paint just in here a post. There's a, a little post out here coming from the breakwater. Maybe some guy used it to tie his lobster pot to or something like that. So, clean brush again. Just touch it and pull down. Go across. There you go, as simple as that, you've got a really, really easy little painting to do. I'll make it slightly, slight little bit bigger that, something like that. And then, just coming out from it, we've got another one. That goes at an angle. So you've got this main one and then this one coming down at an angle. And then that's gonna have a reflection on. Put a reflection in there, which is quick like that. And then I can try to gently blend that reflection. See that? Gently tickle it. Tickle over it. I'm just going to get a tiny highlight. I'm just going to 
I like this one on angle. See that? Just a little highlight on it. You guys might not even see it. The guy's got a place to uh, tie his lobster pot to. I'm just going to darken it off in the centre of that again and on the right hand side. And that'll help the highlight to stand out there. You guys probably can't even see the highlight, but I have put a highlight on it that stands out to me. I think it usually when I've seen these they actually go higher. I want to do it bigger. There. That's more like it. A few little rocks just down beside it. Even in the reflections of it do some makes it look really realistic. Now I just want to darken this edge of this uh, land because it's coming closer to us, you see. It's going to come closer to us. So I just want to make it a little bit darker. Just in there. Allow it to blend with the colour that you've already got on there. Just allow it to softly blend to that. But in there, it does want to be dark. Just in that area. Still want it to be soft on the bottom though. See that? That soft edge. You don't go to, down too low. And if you do, you can blend it back again anyway. So it's not too much of a big deal. Tap that. And that'll just mix to it. a little bit of texture as it comes towards you. Get rid of that top edge. Do the same in here pretty much. Just allow it to tap from that dark to that light. Again I'm just going to get a clean brush. I'm just going to get a proper clean brush this time because that would dirty. Blend that away. No problem. But I'm just going to blend the bottom edge of that now. Soft. That's all we're wanting it. Right, I'm going to call this painting finished. I hope you really enjoyed doing this. I've had a blast.